Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crown League. We have the second matchup of tonight of the match week eight here between Zephyr and Crescent Garden. I'm Ron Rumbles, joined by Woody here. It was a very interesting uh, best of three before that. I mean, we saw Top oh, Esports completely dominating Ascendo, uh, taking their fourth, uh, fourth spot back in complete power. So maybe we see some sort of an uh, upset here as well. Uh, so far, Zephyr has been underperforming, in my opinion, and it would really be lovely to see them finally win something. We have the band in, a DJ from Creston Garden, a Kufra from Zephyr. And do, are there any players you would like to point out before the match starts? Like, who should we watch out for? So, I mean, one of them is probably Ice Flame Rez, who's the leader of Zephyr as well, he's done a good job so far, uh, just uh, leading all the frame <laughs> for them. And I think, I think like Zephyr, I think at least, uh, should have a little bit of an upper hand here. Uh, we've seen them surprised with some un, uh, unexpected picks as well. Iceland Rose has picked, for example, Aurora. Uh, we've seen some Paramis picks from him, so... I, I'd like to see that, you know, Zephyr has been mixing up uh, the cards a little bit here and both of them are really close in the sa uh, table as well, Zephyr 9th, Crescent Garden 8th right now, so uh, they could uh, both do some something really interesting here and they can still challenge for like the top 6 and that, that matchup is going to be really important for both of them. That's quite interesting, like mentioning that the teams are almost sharing the same spot, like just a few points away. From the side of Crescent Guider, I would like to f point out the Kebab. Just doing that work on XP lane. <laughs> lane with his Axborg, with his Fajito. And they're really caring from the side lanes. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, we've seen about some uh, with some really interesting picks. Usually, he picks that expert. Uh, you need you need to have that uh, experienced expert player in your team in the current matter. And Kebab is just that, which is really nice to see. Uh, we see Manito Card Jobbing Band, Joy, Mathilda, just the usual first I mean, six bands. What you expect to no see? No one is still open. That would yeah, be no, a very no, open. American. I don't, I, yeah, but the thing is, I wouldn't expect Nolan as the first pick, right? Because he's still an assassin. You can counter him with like early game fighters who can uh, who can really bully you. It is the Vexana, which is still a problem. Valentina, for example, can counter it. Navaria can counter it. I don't think it's it's going to be like that answer, but. It, it, it's it's a good opening, right? Tigreal. Okay. Well, here we go. I think they're locked in, Avatana locked in, Hexborg gets stolen. And Hexborg, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that immediately limits your XP lane options. It has to be something with a lot of sustain to match it. CC Ruby would be a really insane combination. Yeah, Ruby gonna be the Rome, CC XP lane, CC with a decent lane clear, decent lane. Oh, what are you? Not a heavy draft yeah. from both teams. So, the thing is, they don't really have any die right now, right? They have the scissors, they have the root, but they don't really have anything to access the back line with. It's just going to be like a marksman. I'm really surprised that there hasn't been a marksman pick in the first five picks so far. I think at least there's going to be something here uh, in, in inside this first pick that's going to be a marksman. It has to be like the carrier Claude, but the Claude is not going to be too good into that Ruby or that CC. Yeah, interesting pick here, but I've get carried on and carry if you get locked in. Now we should see some heavy banks towards the marksmen from Zephyr's side, and here we go with Aharif, and from the side of Crescent Garden, I would love to see Novaria getting banned, or maybe even Alilia, I flames signature pick, Novaria. Yeah, Novaria gone. Now, well, do you ban the clone? Instantly hand. The question that is there. Valentino, Paquito next, probably. And then it's probably oh, done. Valentino, or what? Like, who knows yeah. you get? What the? What? Not, not my pick, but a decent mage still. Maybe a bit less 
escapish, but still you have immortality, you have that Modena. Yeah, it's just for the uh, it's just for the poke, right? They don't expect them to play like face to face. They're thinking oh, like they're gonna go for that. Me they're gonna go for that ba uh, bait pick. Yeah, and, yeah. Like and they like... are gonna go for it. They're just low year. Uh, Ice flames played low year. Cycling these mages. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the thing with low year is you need some kind of a die fighter as well. I don't think like Ice you have is one girl. Tigreal is good. But then you need something like Roger. I think Ro Roger plays with Joji. Uh, other than Please that, Loji is kind of weird on his own. Happens. You have a lot of wave clear. Axbar so can be flex. Like Axbar can be flex. Yeah. So we can definitely pick either a jungler or a dive check lane. Yeah. I, think it, I think it has caught them off guard a little bit. That Zephyr's uh, draft. It is in Nathan, I think we saw Nathan in the last series, it did a very good job, top esports. Uh, Q's Nathan was just the Alpha and Omega of that, uh, of that draft. Atlas, that well, that was, that was an absolute sleeper pick that's going oh, out this here. Is interesting. That means it's going to be in jungle, Nathan, and it's going to be gold lane, DC. Okay, that's insane. Goblins, yes, are you sure? <laughs> I would go Goblin Ruby just to give her that life steal early. Oh, it's hard, it's hard to determine. Hanzo being taken, export XP lane, okay. Can you see some iconic crew game levels game. of draft here? I mean, I love the Hanzo, there's nothing that can really dive under two towers to kill him. Yeah, so and there's very the little to lock him down, right? Everything has a cast time. Atlas has a cast time. Ruby has a cast time. So there's really nothing that really brings, I mean, I guess brings that hands over together and stuff. But like. In the land of dawn, here between Crescent God and Sephir, last matchup of the day. What do you think, Woody? What is gonna be happening here? Well, for starters, I really wanna see if this Hans actually risks invading and trying to steal one of the buffs. Otherwise, we need to see the slow year rotation. Like, the wave clear from Atlas and Vaxana is way too fast, and we really need to see if Rose. Ooh, Squishy with a nice push, actually. Nobody taking a lot of damage, but he's Atlas, so it doesn't really matter in the long run. Hacktoad wasn't uh, bothered by it in the least. Hoki, I mean, you can, you can see he's not really as good as Danzi on Hanzo. His Claire isn't that fast. That's, that's a fast lot of damage on Atlas. Atlas. Ooh, no luck. And they have to be get away. He reunites with his body. Well, he was worrying for a second there. Crescent Garden, I mean, they're pushed back already. Look at that three man setup here. The Wrong question is what Garden. is happening in that gold lane? Like, Kerry looks to be pushing out Ruby. Yeah, it, it looks like a little bit. I'm definitely surprised that the Ruby was set up against Kerry. Like, Kerry can you melt Ruby. It's like, give it four levels and it's done. Like, Ruby Operator is hooked. Is... Oh my god! The blast no, coming out no as well, kill. but Hoki gets away. Ice Flame Rose still in a lot of trouble. Performance Delight catching up with him, maybe, but no. Squishy and Ice Flame Rose both getting away into safe distance from it. CC changing targets instead after that export. Now that's a fierce duel coming out at the XP lane. Maybe that export is going uh, down. But I'm not players. sure yet. Give me Fatty. Is he gonna really pull through? Yes, it is. Hackdog helping Speed. out. I it's a 2v1. It was something that export could never win. Well, this is the first call, and this will be a level 4 advantage for the Vaxana. Which means the Turtle will most likely not be contested hard from the side of Zephyr. Probably, yeah. I mean, they still have that Hansel to just dive in, but... This will be very dangerous. Or the other two. Atlas level 4. Yeah, 
they're still focusing on Gimme Fanny here. I mean, they want to pay back for what happened here. Ice Flame Rose completely committing to that XP lane. Has to burn a flicker as well. There's the Insanity coming out, but it really doesn't do much. No luck, doesn't do enough damage. He pulls in everyone, does really win, gets up the damage. He has the smaller blast cone because of no Firaga armor, but it doesn't do enough damage. Only no luck going down. Gimme Fanny was inches away from death, but it isn't enough. And I think Hoagie Long gets that man. turtle Long with man. no uh, smooth operator Nathan from the distance. That is it. Level six already. Level seven pushing it. Out here, securing the turtle. That is reasonable. But operator is invading. We're trying to. Like there's no blue buff. Now Kerry getting very low, and here comes the back flag. Yeah, the thing is with Nate and the theory of everything, you know, you get so much uh, free clear speed as well. You can get so much free range because of that. And you can easily poke that lane from distance. You have great clear speed. You have great poke. There's nothing to worry about. He already has that uh, feather as well. That's a great play. Squishy is dead here. Nothing to do. You really need to see us some teleport from Ice Flame Rose at this point. Like, if you can surprise with a surprise implosion in this so game. You know you're in a lot of trouble if the carry builds the Thunderbolt first item. You know that's going to be a big problem. And it's going to be taken out as well. So that carry... I'm sorry, that carry is going to lose the game. I'm going to call it right now. Oh, I don't think it's the carry losing. Like, Hagdog is just... Free O and Free right now carrying as well as operator with free O and two. Like it's, it's a five mid. man congregation bottom lane. Here is Squishy as well. I don't think they can do much. The Firagam is gonna drop before that last insanity last burst is gonna go. Vengeance is here as well. Eternal Guard is gonna do his job. Rose is going down. They're gonna be hunted. The Eternal Guard is going right underneath the tower. And Hackdog is still chasing them. The fear is coming in. Give me Fanny's hair as well. The yo-yo is blasted into the face, shutting them down. Horky just doesn't find an entering. Give me Fanny goes down though. That's a great reply by Smooth Operator here. But it's not necessary. Give me Fanny is doing very little in these team fights, and yeah, you'll take any kills you can get at this point as Zephyr. But a one for one is not enough you need to make a big play and um, hockey doesn't have the damage to okay, do this it it's gonna be interesting can they really contest the turtle as a question speedy wind is going in there it's not gonna be stolen the smooth operator like gets it easily with the retribution 3-0 like we saw nathan is dominating just like we saw last series as well nathan is really good very safe pick as well out of all the marksmen he can poke so much from distance. Hawk is just going to be finishing oh, up that tower the with the Hanekage. How can that this be possible? Insane. That's the play you need to make. <laughs> that is insane, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now they're going to be contested, though. Oh, oh, man, coming in here. He just doesn't follow. Maybe no step. Okay. I don't know why Flame Rose just went away. There was a two-man implosion, Nathan and F. I mean, that's hard to play into, like, close range of Xander, right? You got the fear into Curse Blast, you really can't get in and away from these. Hockey and Squishy go down, and there's a top lane wave pushing into their tower as well, T2 tower to speak of. And now they need to defend that mid lane as well, so they have a lot going on in their hands right now. The CC is pushing oh, in the lane. Is coming both lane. Can they get the tier 2 there? Yeah, meanwhile the knight gets nice the Starly inside as well. No luck, still trying something here. Not too much speed win. Hawkey defend the lane, Hawkey defend the lane. And yeah, you can see Hawkey's not too good on the hands. I don't think he's doing too good. Like, it doesn't, he doesn't use that demon energy to the maximum, but it's still providing that extra bit of burst. He doesn't have a lot of items, of course. And they're still waiting for that late game spike as well. It's 11-3 at the moment. They're losing with six K, uh, with 5k gold. It's not really the best, but it's still possible to recover from.
Oh, do you wait for 8 minutes, Lord, here as Crescent Garden? I mean, right now, I don't... What is that carry building, man? It, it's Thunderbolt no into Endless Battle, like, am I seeing Clint? What is going on? I guess it's an older build, like, it used to be played before that. It's not going to be much here, I'm going to tell you that. Okay, that's a great blast here. That forces Hoki to get back into his own body right here. But the yeah, turtle is still being contested. Squishy is here. No luck is low on health, but there's no one really helping Squishy. I mean, yeah. Squishy is going to be caught almost. Still has the dash available to You really here. don't want to hold the Tigreal at this point. I mean, at the same it. time, you know, for the Lord fight, you have the tank down, so you don't really have anybody to fully see you, really you with. The level advantage, like, okay, advantage. almost oh, going down. Wait, hold on, they're gonna be gay. Turtle Guard knocks up three enemies, in fact. Squishy has to run away, dashes away, just leaves his team to die. Spinnywind, Eternal Guard is here, but Spinnywind gets if three we'll kills kill in a row. Like... It could be a quadra killer. Oh, Give me a family yeah. just. Rides away from the battle, that's insane. Oh my god. Mm, but we have to tell that Hawk told the Lord. <laughs> that was. It's weird that the scoreline doesn't really represent what's going on in this in this game. Like 12-6, but at the same time, everything everything is still being fought back bravely. Like there's nothing uh, nothing wrong with uh, uh, and now Paradox got Zephyr, I mean. Well, the blue bug got stolen by Logi. What's the next play? Like, you really want to catch the Zanza or is he getting a little bit too aggressive? I mean, you need to get this but... to to your tower and then you want to push in the mid lane, I think. But yeah, they do get it. That's nice. Now, now you should get just into that mid lane fast as possible. You have that Loi ultimate available to you. No luck. Doesn't really get anything. He's gonna be one man and four. Triwell's gonna be dominating him. Last insanity four. coming out. That's it. Squishy getting that defensive item. That's a I'm nice pull. Oh that my god. One hell. Right. Equal item. Well, Crescent Garden not back with the advantage. The scare is doing a lot of damage, but. Yeah, but so look at that, he's doing negative damage to the CC, CC with Vengeance, he's just unkillable. And gives me Fanny easily defends herself against that. Fanny, oh. this a carry, I mean, I'm, there's nothing to do. Clutching Imagine it. one spell just countering all of your kit. That's really unfortunate for Marksman, but that is well, how CC plays. I know how it yeah. happens. I'm all here to fall for Zephyr. Once again, they need another hero play from Hawk, capturing the Lord and Hawk he has, yeah. detail. Hawk has two items, now Divine Paradox has three items, they need, they start need to use those, squishy here, oh, right? man. Pull in. can Divine Paradox use it a little bit, no luck, maybe going down, he's not being interrupted, Hawkey with the Demon on the Sword as well, might be better against these tanky heroes now, he's gonna be diving in with the Honek Kage, no misses the... He still has the knockout, but no, he has to recall the body. Unfortunate. Ag armor gets taken down 10 seconds before the Lord. Like, do you pressure the tower and risk a way to kill? I mean, I'm not sure at this point. It's so I hard. I would not suggest that, like, just play deep, destroy the Hanzo when it starts coming to you, and secure the Lord afterwards. That would be the optimal play, in my opinion. Yeah, probably. I mean, this is uh, already easily taken here by the likes of Hackdog Operator as well. Everything going in the favor of Crescent Garden right now. And that's the thing, right, Zephyr? They are at their hind feet. They are down to the inhibitors. You are much more prone to make these small little mistakes once you're turtling up like that. and. And you yeah. have pretty good defense, you have a Hanzo, you have a Luyi, you can definitely catch anyone trying to force that tower. Yeah, and you, you have, have good, yeah, you got good weight there as well, thanks to Luyi and Carry, so... They can definitely push these waves back a little bit, and they need to clear that Lord, that's like the most important part here. 
four items on that Nathan already. That's eight Real one power as well. Look at Nolak, look at the He's... position. Pulls in squishy. Nolak going down, squishy going down. To get them, no so luck. both tanks are taken out. The Lord is chipping away at the base, but that's and not going to be enough. everything yet. they need to fight. Mid lane is breached, the base is breached, the Highlands is not safe anymore. Yeah, so you got the super minions marching down mid, that's really good, right? So once you have one of the sidelines pushed in, that's going to take a lot of attention away uh, from the team already. Zephyr has to as a lot at least of one neighbor. Yeah. I mean, this Hanzo is getting fat. Like, there's definitely a win condition for the Hanzo to just get fat and then get a single kill. Yeah, with the team on the sport... are also pretty decent at this point. Yeah, with the DHS, he can definitely do something against the CC, against the Atlas. Uh, the Ruby is surprisingly building attack. Uh, full attack, by the way. No defense items on site on that Ruby. It's pretty win. Chasing no luck. A lot of true damage coming out as well. F almost full temperature on the Atlas. Uh, how far is speed from immortality? Like... One of the best questions is... I think not too far, he's building yeah. it right now. Yeah. It's like 5-600 gold away. Yeah. Okay, we got the recalls out as well, that was a mistake, My buddy. He's gonna you burn and the, he's gonna burn his fire Aga armor, was it really worth it? He's gonna be pulled in as well, he's gonna be going down, no luck still up, but Divine Paradox does not let it slide. The Light Wheels are coming out this is... at lightning speed, but Operator is there, give me fun as well, with the performance dangerous. delight. Squishy is pushed back into Fountain, that's it, Eternal and Guard the... as well, they are finishing it, the job. Operator doing a lot of work on that Nathan. Getting yeah, fed early. That's for sure, yeah. Okay, so Crescent Garden did win this one. It took a, uh, surprisingly a lot of honor time, actually. Some damage on that. <laughs>
And we're back to the second game, and Zephyr versus Crescent Garden. We just watched Crescent Garden securing the first game with amazing performance from Operator, and let's see if Zephyr can fight back. Yeah, it does seem like Nathan is one of the one of the key heroes of the night, but I think it, it is down to like the lockdown heroes as well, because you don't really have any suppression heroes in the meta, like we don't see uh, Franco anymore really popular anymore, you know, Kajo is really a niche pick right now, so it's really hard to pin down uh, heroes like Nathan right now. Oh, you could just pick Lolita, shield everything back at him. Yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> Also, the suppression is right now more focused on the mages, like, you have, of course, Vaxana, you have Nana, you have... You want something li like... Time to drop the I can flesh. suppress with the correct tool. Alright, we see Fanny and Joa being banned. It's still the Not usual. Focus on the jungler. Interesting if the third ban will go through, or if it will be more... Uh, support heavy ban like something big ish <laughs> or maybe a minotaur it's funny to me that methula is just banned so many times like and oh, at the same time she's not picked that much i think it's the same in like um mpl indonesia as well she's like banned like 60 times she's picked like 10 times and teams just don't want to team don't, don't want to play against her they're gonna they're gonna just waste that red side ban Rather than just face off against Well, them. the disengage and the shield to Matilda provides is just a bit yeah, of yeah. lower power than when you match it with Flask of Oasis. Like, you can just re engage and disengage, and it's so annoying to deal with. Yeah, like that's that. true, yeah. Oksana banned pretty standard so far. So, Zephyr, what do you want? Who do you want to ban? Is it a fair jungle? Gonna be. I it don't think they're gonna for Nolan. Okay, cool. Yeah. Again. Maybe they want to play for an assassin still. No. I mean, Nolan should be here. What the Lancelot does not feel countered by? Ben is banned. It's gonna be a Nolan ban, surely. Will be a Leomord as well? Kufra is very strong against a Leomord. On the side of Crescent Garden, I don't think it should be some. Oh yeah, this is open. Ruby, okay. Team is picking. What about the Marlo? Yeah, Marlo is still a very good first pick. Oh, it's even better than Frederick right now. Frederick has been nerfed. I was so up there right now. Therefore, the problem is I don't think they play Arlo to rock. I, I, I mean, Paradox have played it, but. They don't have uh, maybe. I, I I would say that Farlux actually would be one of the better oh, picks. Yeah, it is. And yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah, Paradox Arlet is gonna be here. So how do you want? Do you want to take mid control with something like Novaria and Rock? I doubt, but. Yeah, so Arlen like Arlen loses against something like Grok, you know, something you can't really pin down. So yeah, Novaria Grok maybe would be like. I don't know from yet I found that Arlen has a hard time against the Hylos. He just continuously bursts down the damage. He can't really walk away, and there's too much HP hmm. just to kill. But that's this is really probably like... gonna be for the XP lane. I still yeah. would have hoped to see the Grok, but it's not coming out. It's probably going to come out in the ban phases then here. Uh, I doubt it's not that often of a tech. To be fair, very weak to magic damage, very weak to Chicha, something that can move and attack. Arlov should be kept as a flex pick, so we should see a gold laner, maybe a mage, maybe a jungler. I would love to see a Nolan it's here. Ipsy, okay, that's nice to see. Okay, that's really cool. <laughs> oh, is my Diggy. Diggy is my name. And Diggy, so it's gonna shut down all of your tank options at once. 
But this so yeah, they're gonna reply to it with, with a arm. healer, which makes sense. Essus, Essus, yeah, Raphael, uh, Florin, that's all you have left here. Raphael also pretty good here. Hey. Angela, yeah. I don't think so, unless they want to commit to like a jungler no, or, it works and with dive a lot. Well, Angela works with Chichi, Angela works with something like a Nolan Barrett as well, Fredrian. It can definitely work. Rafaela with CC is gonna go hard, right? Performance alike with Rafaela's spe uh, speed up is gonna go insane. And that's gonna be it. You're a bit vulnerable, you have very little crowd control. It's basically the holy baptism. Yeah, you're you're just in and out, in and out all the time. That's gonna be your gameplay. And basically. I really wanna see a couple of that in bands here. Yeah, like, both teams are very susceptible to early burst. I mean, that has to be a marksman banner right now, right? So, gonna be something that's a long range against Ixia. There's, there's no point <laughs> picking. Yeah, okay. They're taking the Barrett's out. Okay, yeah, Barrett's still good with uh, Rafaela. I'm surprised they're not taking out any marksmen. They're really confident in that Ixia being good with the, uh, with the diggy. Well, you know, maybe you have an Arlo. Love tank on the XP lane. To have some is time incredibly have hard against Bruno though, so maybe finally we're gonna see Bruno here. But it also depends on like the individual. Oh, a linear ban targeting Rose. But I've seen Rose play Marksman. Like this could be a Rose just adjusting to what the the team needs. If it's not a Bruno ban, I'm not sure. Okay, Claude is absolutely waste of a ban. Unreasonable. I would say it's reasonable. Claude is never going to reach Ixia. Yes, and Jen. Okay, show us the good stuff. Yeah, I mean, Easter sounds great. You know, you got that global damage. You don't have CC anyway, so might as well just go for that burst. But. I think you need something that still goes for that single target. Oh, like yeah, you, you need to have something that gets to that Ixia, gets to that Diggy. It's great for objective control for sure because if, if I mean, and also with gold lane, I definitely no idea of lefts to play Ethan Chin on gold lane. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it works. Yeah, you can do a lot of damage because of your weapon mastery. That's it, like dash in. Your opponent tries to move the way again. back, you get another critical hit. That's a lot of damage, a lot of pressure. A Hager is pretty reasonable. It's every good here, yeah. Once you, once you really focused your, focus your into team play. The there is not a lot of crowd control. Magic it is. I mean, we've seen so much off meta here. That is insane. Xavier as well. I like seeing that actually. And the question is, how do you answer? Do you want to send this use engine on gold lane, or will you keep it as a jungler? I think that's going to be a jungle. Uh... The thing is, like, you essentially to really maximize this passive, you need to get to that melee range. You cannot get into melee range of Ixia. So, yeah, it's going to be Roger Gold Lane, maybe. Yeah, it is. Starts now. Oof. What a setup here. They have absolutely zero front lane. But two Markman that can dash in and out. Rafael, that could just help with the disengage. And, of course, Hackdog, who can just poke that fast Rileco. Mm. So it's gonna be really hard to engage from the side of Zephyr, but at the same time you have a Harv who will just shield everything once yeah. he gets close enough. I mean, I'm gonna put my money on Zephyr here for now. It just it just seems like Crescent Garden has a very squishy setup that they need to capitalize on that early game, they need to get that Roger going really early on. 
yeast and shit from level four has to get a kill, otherwise it feels like it will just be trailing behind. I have to agree with you, like, it's either this Roger gets everything done, or this Harif is going rampaging throughout the Land of Dawn. So, let's see how the early game starts. Yeah. And like, as an Isha player, you're gonna save your stun for a very long time unless you actually see someone coming at you like the Roger, so... I don't think, like, he's gonna be... He's gonna be in too much danger against the Roger dives. Hockey against Gimme Fan is a very fierce duel here for a little while. Of course, with the performance of like Gimme Fan, he's gonna get, get that early lead. He's gonna be supplying that Ixia with a lot of extra damage and support, though. But there's also Rafaela on the lane. That's proper old school strategy, or probably supports basically on the lane, guarding the marksman. I would have loved for the Diggy to just stick around gold lane, poke that Roger down so he can't real dash into anyone. But that's yeah, so the thing is, happening. Roger trying to get that gold crab, huh, jumps onto that Ixia, is it gonna be a win? No, Roger is on his last breath actually. And it's really dangerous here for the Roger, but... But the gold advantage is already 200 gold for the side of Crescent Garda. It's not a lot, but it is an advantage. Yeah. And how to force back? That's a death here. Divine Paradox goes down. Give me Fanny. Easily catches up to him. No luck goes down. Horky with a great kill, but that's a trade again. That's a horrible trade. Like a roamer for jungler and Horky. Yeah. And the worst part is, give me the thing is, as a Harith, if you're like missing out on the first item, you are going to be a bot for the rest of the game. Here is Smooth Opera, look at that, that, that here is Squishy yeah. going down, Smooth Opera is still here, no luck as well. Flame Rose has to spurn the flick of the and stun, does the nothing. Yes, and Shen is doing everything. Yeah, perfectly weaved in the ranged attacks together with the melee, with the sword, perfectly done, 4-1 lead already. And Crescent Garden, safely in the read, lead right now, Speedy Win taken out as well. That's the turtle basically secured for their name. Okay. Yeah. I think in the bush, I don't know, they didn't really want to sleep on it though. Speedy Wind, of course, does get the revive thanks to his passive... But there is no luck like, providing vision as well with that light I attribution. I have no idea why Zephyr are setting up for the turtle. Like you already lost five members. Like you have a two thousand gold disadvantage. That's true. Really cool. They miss though. So yeah, it is a lot down to no luck. How much does he get that vision onto them? Paradox is gonna go down here. There is no question about that. That's really cool. Also onto Paradox. That Harry. Uh is gonna be a caster minion at this point. Turtle and in their this pocket. Point, we really need to watch the Ixia that is... doing something. Oh my god, that is a wasted XL. If I've ever seen one, you you are not even clear the lane with this. The Roger's gonna jump onto you. What is the thinking behind I'm playing uh, Rose? You can see he's never played Ixia before. What is this man doing? Get him out the field, please! Nah, he's not surviving this. Like Roger can dash in anytime he wants. Look Absolutely disgusting, man. This is ugly. Even no luck. It's a way the Xavier out misses. Paradox is chasing. But the Comet puts him down to strain position once again. Hockey dashing onto the minion. Give me Fanny. Gets a nice little spam bump going on as well. There's Look at the gold. The 3000 at them. <laughs> yeah, and. Then. It's just... Just and they can them. never really breathe safely as well, right? Because that uh, Xavier is dawning light as well. If they really congregate into one position, you, you, you just can't you just can't really be complacent about that Hawk. He's just basically being tower, <laughs> tower dived by that CC without minions. <laughs> the CC is going to be jungling as well. Taking and everything yeah, away from you. Too. CC, maybe that... First kill is coming out. No, still not yet on the goal leg. Aslam Rose should recall here. Like, you have no chance to survive. That's A true. nice poke okay. from Hardog. No luck coming the out as well. The is gonna be destroyed. Time journey of 
They're chasing the Harris, going to back about his tower. Give me funny. Look at that, he's just proxing with no answer whatsoever from Hawkey. That's how good CC is right now. It's an overpowered hero and you just have to use it to your advantage. That's the gold lane tower being taken in numbers. 6-1 lead already, 50 minutes. Here in the min. Absolutely, that's the turtle taken. That's completely locked now, in here. Do you make a play on this Chicho? Or do you say she's too fat, just farm up, play safe and pray for late game? As Zephyr. One of the problems is that the Gimme Fanny probably can't get away from this until until his teammates oh. really alive. Hockey, no! Oh. That's a big no, you really, Hockey, driven and to the grave. Divine the Paradox but that's taken the out. Lot of them here one as well. That's insane. The thing is, Diggy is so useless until you're up against a, an actual tank, right? Other than that, you're going to be read through so easily, especially with Novaria, providing vision about your bombs, about your, about your location. So you're just playing a second mage that's not really doing anything. You're going to be playing at a gold deficit, so you're absolutely useless. I mean, it's 7,000 in only six minutes, like... Yeah. <laughs> This is a dang game if I've ever seen one, and <laughs> well, you better pray for Rassen Garden to make a mistake. They're two starting Good to fall. Like with the endless seven. battle, there's still some extra poke here as well, coming out from Crescent Garden here. So now, he's going to be even more unkillable than before. He comes in great locations, though. So they're not going to be collapsed on too easily here. Divine Paradox trying to get away from that dive here. While the Rafaela is committing, though. Oh, no one has to do anything. Sad. I don't think so. Divine Paradox still alive. No! But not give me Fanny. Gets a kill here. Asteroid coming out as well. Maybe something hokey. Gets shot down. The X Ultimate, will it do something? Oh, They're diving, collapsing right onto him. There's everything in the hands of Hackdog. Gets another kill. Only Ice Flame Rose standing one against two here. No luck back standing. There's a T2 tower gone from the bottom lane. Another turtle up. And I'd like to mention it's still a turtle because it's before eight minutes. That's how fast this game has gone. Yes, I'm already tier two towers are gone. On the mid is still standing, but that was a good fight. Like four for three, you get a shutdown on operator. You show that the herf can do something. Now, do you commit on Rafala? Nice kill. Herf is about to die. And Rose falls and has echo. That's unlucky. Yeah, it's really hard to come back from this situation. And the Lord is being played into the drawer of Crescent Garden as well. Yishinsen starting it already. 5-1, 5-1-9 actually. Getting his health back up as well with the endless battle. He's going to be really unstoppable. The Roger as well. The Roger stand, stood his ground really easily on the top uh, from the goal lane. Uh, sorry, it's the League of Legends <laughs> vocabulary creeping in. Give me Fanny. Um, what is he doing? 1v3 Divine Paradox. They're trying to stop him some way or no, another. He is the Vengeance oh, is defending him. Nice he still gets one. It's a trade. He went in 1v3 and he still catches something. That's it should be illegal. Trade. You were 5 and 0 up. You give a lot of gold with that shutdown. And you really die before the Lord. We yeah, know you that. Get, yeah, and you get the jungler who really doesn't have any CC anyways, right? You get the Harith, he doesn't really have any CC, that so it's, gonna it's, be it's, it's kind of stupid, yeah. But at the same like... time, a great response, you know, it opens up Medling possibilities here for Zephyr. Oh my god, ten, 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 falls, did you see a hack job? The reason the mid gets delayed, squish, you don't need to die there. Lord gets defended, it takes you away from all. Ooh. I see that, right? Joining light down hit at least three players here, but the damage is just isn't there right now. No like oh, being as well, hoping to do some extra damage here. As you're missing, all this would be a horrible 
Yeah, it's becoming a very scrappy fight right now. Like they're trying to replicate something here, Crescent Garden. I mean, still but... ten thousand gold lead for Crescent Garden, but we can see some mistakes coming through, which is. Yeah, I think they're forcing the matter a little bit too much, right? Just clear the jungle, get the vision. You don't need to do too much. The Eastern Shield Ultimate does it quite a that. lot. There's one player stuck under yeah, the tower. Nice so the road just thinks, yeah, might as well go for it, right? lane power is gonna fall here. Is it though? The door like, oh my god, it misses all the players! The Ixalazim as well, the Barrows of Shrust coming in, the Flicker reposition coming out. The Vengeance Bank might say, give me Fanny, he's running away, give me Paradox, not enough. Ow! I secure and... Nah, don't commit on this mid tower, just take the buffs, play it safe, you Seven. have everything you oh. need. Novaria is just different gravy, right? It's so hard to recover from that, like... If you're pushed in, Novaria has all the tools available for her to just completely poke you down from that distance. Nice push from Horky, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Uh, Give me a fan uh, just... It's a three level difference, like, Arla, do you really want to commit to that fight? Uh, maybe you can bait out the ultimate, but apart from that, an unnecessary fight there. I can't see the counter please coming even with this gold at disadvantage from Zephyr. There is some life in them. And if you can secure Lucky here. Eh, don't worry about it. there's not a lot going on. Fest and Garden are about to secure the 12 minute Lord, which is kinda useless because there's like there are two uh, inhibitor towers down like I mean, the a goal lead off. that usually refers to like a two item lead as well it easily translates to that and we can see that as well from the mid lane where it, i mean the Noveria is basically full build at this point like he has crystal he has divine glaive and it's just so much you know you have you have right, everything the penetrating yeah, he's going for that full damage. Everything is magic damage here. That's a bit questionable. I prefer glowing one. You just tag that and he... I think they're I think they're feeling comfortable, right? It's 199, they think that yeah, let's just go for that that one shot strategy, right? There's giving me Fanny basically That's fighting one v five and it's it's just the Xavier ultimate does nothing. The dawning light goes through them, but it barely tickles them. Smooth operator raining down these shots. Can they even get back to the fountain? They can, mm. but can they defend the fountain? Is another question. Mm. No. Nine. Lord is marching in as Have well. No another way. dawning light. It does nothing. No luck. Building that oracle as well. More magic defense onto their team. That's the game over. Well. It was a very dominant showing from Crescent Garden, and even with mistakes, the gold lead they managed to accumulate was insane. Basically, yeah. So, who is this? Uh, who is regarded as the MVP here? A smooth operator from the Eastern Shen. Yeah. It was a really good pick, actually. Uh, the poke damage did go a long way, especially if the opponent team is hiding under their own towers, you know, they need to go even further away, and you're gonna open up that space to steal these towers away. Alright, so... We're going to be in a quick break here, and then we're going to be back going back into the third game here in this series, as it is a best of three. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. Wait, can you, I'm cooked here. Holy shit. It was not water. My brain doesn't work either. <laughs> it's way too late.